Unveiling sucralose, a synthetic sweetener not as natural as it seems. Like I said at the beginning, nothing shocks me anymore. Just, okay, so here's the thing that is extremely frustrating about the name sucralose. So it, it, it's a very misleading name because you uh -huh. you you hear sucralose and you think sugar, right? You think, oh, that, that can't be a bad -E. mm -hmm. Right. So it may have started out as sugar, but the final product is truly anything but sugar. So according to the book, Sweet Deception, sucralose is made when sugar is treated. I can't even read these words, people. Sugar is treated with tritochloride, acetic anhydride, hydrogen chlorine, thionyl chloride and methanol in the presence of dimethylformamide, 4-methylmorphaline, tolonine, methyl isobutyl ketone, acetic acid, I can't even say this one, benzyl triethyl ammonium chloride and sodium methox methoxide. I think seriously, right? <laughs> Making it any unlike anything found in nature. You read the fine print on the Splenda website. It says, quote, although sucralose has a structure like sugar and a sugar-like taste, it is not natural, end quote. In 1998, it was approved for limited use. And in 1999, it was given approval for use as a general purpose sweetener. It is currently found in over 4,500 products, including foods that are cooked or baked. 